Good morning, everyone. My name is Kanipa Witt Mac Watts, Standing Bear. My colonial name is Wayne William Snowgrew, uh, Soto Tribe, Fishing Lake First Nation, Saskatchewan, Canada, Treaty 4, Treaty 4 Territory, Ashana Bay. So it is a, a privilege and honor to, to be sitting with you here again. It's a, a beautiful, um, beautiful weekend, and uh, it's just a beautiful day to, you know, sit together and, and you know do that beautiful thing that we do we are the we are the medicine here and i can't do this without you so so thank you so thank you for for joining us here this morning um uh and, and if no one said that they love you today i love you very much and again it's, it's an honor and, and privilege for me to to be here with you and let's let's uh let's open up this in the uh the usual way um have any smudge there uh, where you are? Please, please break that out, and uh, we will go ahead and there we go. So, so there we go. So, there we go. So, there we go. go. Okay. All right. So, uh, people, people kind of trickling in here, you know, it's that kind of day, you know? And so, uh, this morning, uh, we're just going to take our time and, you know, kind of after the holiday rush and, uh, you know, whatever that colonial thing is, we're just going to have a nice relaxed morning. So, uh, settle in, sit down and, uh, let's, uh, let's carry this, this, this circle in a really beautiful way. So let's, let's open up in, in the usual way of having any tobacco here. Um, Please, please offer that as Pop just say that's a, that would be good. So uh, let's open up this circle. Let's open up this circle. Creator, great spirit, catch you, Banner, too. Megwitz, thank you. Kill was on me. I love you. We love you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the circle. Thank you for our breath. Thank you for our life. We come here, we mean no harm in what we do. We come here for one reason. That is a celebration of life. Not only our life, not only the life of this circle, but all other nations, circles, and tribes, especially ones that don't look like us, the two-leggeds. We come here to, to celebrate all life. All nations, all tribes, all circles, both seen and unseen, both spiritual and physical. Come here and celebrate all those lives. Celebrate the life of the, the standing people, the fish people, the winged nations, creepy crawlers, and the slitheries, and of course the four legged and all other life. We come here to make good relations with those, all those other circles and celebrate with them their life. Come here to 
celebrate the life of those that have come before us, our ancestors. We want to offer them gratitude and thank you. Thank you for giving us a place to, to pray. Thank you for carrying on their traditions so that we may have one. Thank you for carrying on those ceremonies and prayers so that, that we may have those ceremonies and prayers. And we also want to give thanks for those that will come after us the next seven generations. We understand that our prayers are incomplete until we say the prayers for the next seven generations. So thank you, because we borrow this earth, these ceremonies from them. And we want to be good stewards of them. That's a right and a privilege and an honor to do so. So thank you. Thank you to the next seven generations. We, we love you. We want to you want to make good relations with, with those things unseen, those unseen spirits that, that will bring us a good life. A life that will help us walk in beauty. A life that will help us walk in alignment with the ancient sacred agreements of harmony and balance. Living with natural law. There's those unseen spirits called humility, love, respect, compassion, kindness, bravery, courage, all these gentleness, all these all these spirits that we have trouble with. We have trouble making good relations with. We want to sit here and make good relations with those. Again, we come here, we mean no harm in what we do. Oh, okay. Okay, good one. Okay, everyone out there, we got, got a good little crowd going here. We, we are the medicine circle here. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you're just kind of tuning in, we uh, uh, we do this on a daily basis. And, uh, and again, if no one said that they love you today, I uh, love you very much. And uh, thank you for thank you for spending a little time here with us um, this morning. A um, couple of things before we, we start, we hit on a couple of things. We've added a couple of things, uh, you know, recently one of those things, the first thing that we, you know, that we talk about is, is hollow bones. What is hollow bones? And, you know, we understand that there's a great flow. Um, that there's a great flow out there. And, you know, it, it um, you know, the seasons are in a flow. You know, the, the, the moon has a flow. We call it cycles or, um, or phases like that same thing you know there's a flow there and we want to with we want to live within that flow and sometimes we have a real difficulty with that sometimes we get stuck in, in some sort of some sort of way and uh, you know tapping into that flow is, is a great way uh, of uh, walking with that flow honoring that flow uh, that flow looks like harmony and balance that flow looks like uh, gentleness, that flow looks like peace, that flow looks like love, and, and sometimes we have a real, real issue, you know, walking with that flow. So basically being, being those hollow, being hollow bones is when we tap into that flow and allow that flow to not only come to us, but through us, you know, back into, back into what we would call, you know, that big cycle, uh, the big cycle, the big, you know, that, that big flow there. So living within confines of natural loss of vision, you know, like real quickly, uh, you know, part of that flow, um, you know, love, you know, we understand that there's love out there. Uh, well, being very loving is being very part of that flow. Uh, you know, we understand that love has one, one rule and that is to, to give it away. So, so we want to, to live within that flow and, and, you know, offer that, that flow that love to all other circles out there. You know, we talk about it, we talk about it at the end of, you know, every, morning meditation where you know this ceremony may end but the ceremony within you does not end so uh, you know what we loved here what we listened to here what we learned here we take it out to all those other circles that's just another definition for for hollow bones so 
So, uh, so if you have a definition for hollow bones that, that works for you, please feel free to, to put it here in, in the, uh, the feed here. So thank you for that. Ancestors. There was a Cree elder, uh, I don't know, a while ago that, uh, that suggested that, that, that we, that we talk a little bit more about or pray a little bit more, offer a prayer to the, uh, indigenous our indigenous ancestors who really carried this medicine in, in a really beautiful way especially when it was really dangerous to do so 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 yeah big um, you know big shout out to those men and women of, of medicine who who uh walked with this medicine when uh, the colonial world uh wasn't happy with us doing so so thank you to my father robert cases thank you to um my elder uh direct elder uh tony stonehawk um, and all other men and women um, who, who carry and, and, uh, this medicine in, in a really beautiful way. So thank you. So, um, okay, we have a new segment here. Very, very exciting. Uh, um, it's Soto Word of the Day. And so, um, um, and, you know, there's been some suggestions there. If you want to, um, if, if you have a... Like if you want to know what a soda word is, so so please please ask. So 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 go ahead. Uh, we've had a couple of um, a couple of questions about what 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 water is. So uh, we will cover that today. So please keep those questions, comments, and concerns coming. I, I welcome them. So um, Nabi is is water. Um, Nabi, really simple. And so uh, a couple others that that we've covered um, uh, this week is kind of like. Uh, Sunday, we're just going to take our time. So, um, grandmother, what is grandmother? Cook them. Okay. What is eagle? Can you? Uh, what is thank you? Megwitch. So, uh, key megwitch is like big megwitch or a uh, big thank you, more thank you, uh, extra thank you. So, so key, key megwitch is, is like extra thank you. So, so anyway, that we will keep um, <clears throat> keep that little segment going. It's kind of exciting. So, uh, you know, it, it really teaches us to, to relate to uh, directly to um, Kitsi Manitou, the great spirit. That, that's how that works. So, and you know what? We're probably going to go over that some someday. We'll have a special little segment really going over that. So question of the day. Here's, um, and, you know, I, I, I talk about, um, and this is in reference to, but we're not going to quite touch on this this direct question. But it's, um, you know, we talk about white privilege, right? Right. You know, you know, we just come from um, a couple of days ago, you know, there was a white privilege holiday, right? And it's really a national day of mourning for those indigenous you know because we really understand what it is but what is you know this, this person said you talk about white privilege and i don't know what it is and so uh to make this like a little bit more spiritual maybe we'll talk about that like another day it's not really appropriate here right here right now <clears throat> but what is privilege you know, and, and again, a lot of us associate that, especially those in minority and marginalized communities, um, understand what, what white privilege is. And, and, you know, we think privilege is, is you know, you know, I, I think I posted something the other day because that question and, and that meme came in like right around the same time. It was really like an alignment thing. So whenever that happens, you know, that light bulb goes off and said, okay, this is something that that great spirit kitchen humanity wants me to, you know, you know, wants me to cover. So here we are. So privilege, what is, you know, what is privilege? What is that? And please put your uh, comments, comments in the feed here. We are the medicine here. So we need to hear from you. That's one of the exciting things about this group. It, it is just not me sitting here I'm in the service of the Great Spirit and, and, and this circle here. So I am in no way in charge. I'm not, I'm not a medicine man or anything like that. I, I'm just a guy in like, you know, Tarpon Springs, Florida, you know, doing a live here. I happen to be indigenous. So, so anyway, uh, so I, I would really love to hear what you have to say about, you know, privilege. What is privilege? What is...
you know, the, the, and you know, I I, I kind of sat with that last night, this morning. There was a, you know, a moment of you know meditation, uh, probably a, a longer moment of you know meditation and privilege. Um, you know, isn't only for one segment of the population. It isn't for a minority group. It isn't for you know the super wealthy. You know, it isn't for you know the super lonely. It it, it isn't for any of that. You know, you know, we think it is because we, you know, we have, we live in a Western colonial world which teaches us certain things, right? There's certain understandings, uh, certain privilege. So I would dare to say, I don't dare to say, I just say, you know, life is a privilege, not a guarantee. You know, our breath is a privilege, not a guarantee. You know, you know, you know just think about that every breath isn't a right, is a privilege, you know. So we, in, in this group right here, we are all among the privileged right here, the super privileged, because we have life, which is a beautiful thing. You know, we say it in, in the morning, in, in, you know, the opening prayers, without life, we have nothing. And there's no guarantees that we will be here tomorrow. There's no guarantees that, that we will have our next breath. There are no guarantees. So let's think in terms of, you know, honoring that privilege that we have right now. We're sitting in this circle, which is an absolute privilege. I'm very honored and privileged to, to be sitting here with you. So with that gift, the gift of privilege, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with this beautiful gift of privilege today? You are privileged to have life. There are many people out there uh, that were that were with us this past year that aren't with us today. Yeah. Yeah. Some family members of mine have moved on. Some, you know, and some physical and spiritual circles, you know, they have moved on. So we understand how precious life is. Yeah. You know, we say it. We say it every morning. You know, our breath. We are grateful for our last breath, and we are hopeful for our next. So we are in that place in between. You have a right to be here. You know, you have a right to be here. Yeah. What what uh, what are you going to do with today's gift? How are you going to honor today's gift? You know, that, you know these are some questions that you know that it's okay to ask yourself. You know, is it you know? You know, we'll be, you know, will we remember that we are in ceremony? Will we remember our prayers? Will we walk with our prayers? Will we offer this circle's prayers to the rest of the world? Will we be basically being loving to, the, to those who aren't very loving to us? Can we offer that? Can we offer that? No, no, that's true. No. So, um, so anyway, that so that's kind of the, the the quick short version of you know, you know privilege. So we go over a couple books, and uh, you know very you know very exciting today. Um, we went over this a couple of days ago, and you know again, you know just before me, um, this time slot here, uh, Denise Miller, uh, was a beautiful elder out of Tucson. She's from Manitoba. But uh, she's a Métis elder, so um, so she goes over, you know, meditations with uh, with Native Native American elders by uh, Don Coyus. So uh, again, you ever get to sit with Don Coyus? Pretty amazing. And we also go over. I can't find it. Oh, oh. We go over my second book, uh, which is Whispers from from the Hollow Bone. Uh, please, uh, and if you haven't gotten your copies uh, yet, we. We will post that in uh, the feed today. So please and thank you to all the volunteers. I post all these beautiful things. Uh, today, we are going to go over, you know, some days, I, and this is Daily Medicine. This is my first book right here, first book I wrote. Um, and, you know, some days we go over, um, uh, you know, uh, the day. It's like, you know, November 28th, so we go over November 28th. And some days, you know, we just, 
we don't do that. So today is one of those days. I was just kind of thumbing through. I, I have a friend, um, Daniela, in, in Eastern Europe, and, and she does this, and she says it works 100% of the time. She has a question, and she kind of rolls through, and then she kind of opens it up, and, you know, she says it never fails. So, uh, so I kind of did that this morning, and, uh, you know, basically, basically what I asked was, uh, feeling really good. I got up, had a cup of coffee, and did a little smudge, a little, little, little offering. Um, Thank the coffee gods for, for you know, <laughs> that privilege, that ceremony. So, uh, so anyway, I, I, I kind of asked, hey, what does, you know, what does, what meditation do you feel would be best today? And so, you know, so, uh, you know, so I did that. And can I get a drum roll, please? Okay, so. So, uh. It's actually March first, so uh, so so if we get a volunteer uh, to put daily medicine March first in uh, in uh, the feed here, uh, that would be good. Please, please, and thank you. Uh, and this is really beautiful. This is. You know, um, and again, uh, this is kind of like a longer, there's probably four, there's four sentences here, five sentences here. So, uh, you know, it's pretty lengthy. Um, so a couple of things, you know, that we do, we kind of read it over a couple of times. I got a general impression and, and then we, you know, we go in and, you know, break it down. And, and, and also I would really, would really encourage you because we are the medicine here, especially the sacred feminine out there. You are beautiful, powerful. We need to hear your voice. We want to hear your voice. We can't do this, you know, without your sacred voice. So, uh, so please, uh, so please feel free to comment. Uh, you know, what do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear from this this meditation? I'm I'm, I'm not a sacred feminine, so I, I'm coming from a male, uh, the sacred male. So that's that's my take. So, So anyway, please, uh, you know, please and thank you for, please and thank you. So uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you to, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, somebody just posted that. So uh, I think it was Miranda. Uh, I think Miranda just kind of posted that. So yeah. well, somebody just posted it. So so thank you. Um, so Mark Purse, I am the sacred light that shines above me. I am the sacred water that flows through me. I am the sacred wind that blows around me. I am the sacred fire that burns within me. I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. Wow. Let's read that again. And, and, you know, this is a time for, for, you know, what we would call uh, a walk a pick, sit in a sacred way, which also includes listening in a sacred way. So let's just kind of close our eyes and let's just kind of listen to what, what spirit, what the, the gift that spirit has for us today, because these are directly from the great spirit. So I am the sacred light that shines above me. I am the sacred water that flows through me. I am the sacred wind that blows around me. I am the sacred fire that burns within me. I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. And there's something so beautiful and so gentle and so subtle within this reading. Some of you may have caught it, some of you may have not. Uh, and and it, it, this reading, this intertwines what we, what we have within us and what is going on around us. So, so let's just sit with that a minute. What does that mean to you? So this is, 
I am the sacred sacred light that, that shines above me. So that's in reference to the sun. Okay. And, and, and then it goes, I am the sacred water that flows through me. Okay. So there's an outer and there's an inner thing going on here. And, and you know, this reading kind of goes through both. It kind of flip flops back and forth in a really beautiful, beautiful way. What does that say to you? What does that mean to you? Because it's really, really significant here. Let, let's, you know, this is something that, 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 let's not gloss over this. Let's take a, let's take a big deep breath and, and, you know, let's take a look at this right here. What does that mean? You know, and, and in, in like a general, general way, and, and please put your, just your comments in the feed here. We really need to hear from you. Uh, you know, especially this, especially the sacred feminine. We really need to hear. I cannot say that enough. I definitely do not want you to feel marginalized in this circle. And I, I, I really want the sacred feminine to shine here. We need you to shine. We need your voice. You are, you are, you are all beautiful, and you are all enough. And, and you know, let's let's be all in today. So, and so, kind of getting back to the reading. You know, it, it's kind of telling me, it's kind of pinging me that 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 what is that we are part of what's on the outside is a part of us on the inside, and a part of us on the inside is part of us on on the outside. And you know, when I say outside, uh, externally from this 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 human body, but it's not only physical. What they're really referencing it to is. Uh, the spiritual also so you know we go back to that really really beautiful teaching and, you know pay attention here and, and this is pops pops went over this to me all the time said you know the, the, the spiritual and, and the physical they have to mirror each other you know you know they can't be like this because that would be like out of balance we as human beings we really know how to walk you know out of balance you know kind of thing you know like like that but, you know, when they're in balance and, you know, very simply, you know, a couple of teachings of, you know, what that looks like. Um, you know, let's take sage, you know, uh, modern science has really figured out what we have known for, for really thousands and thousands of years. So the colonial Western world science is really far behind what, what we indigenous, we really already know. So, so what, so what this is with the sage, it, it physically cleans the air. Let me say that, it physically cleans the air of, of you know, of, you know, um, viruses. Probably pretty big deal right about now, right? In the last, last, you know, two years or so. Bacteria, it cleans, it physically cleans the air. Okay, so if it physically cleans the air, it also has to do the same thing in the spiritual world. So a quick reference there. Point of, you know, reference. So, um, you know, this is one of those moments where I said, Pops, you know, there's so much going on here. I, I basically said to myself, okay, where do we start? And then I can hear Pops' voice, well, start at the beginning. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning. So, uh, and, you know, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is a power statement also right here, you know. Um, you know, we often talk about, um, <coughs> uh, power words like we, us, and our. We've covered that extensively. We have covered this extensively, uh, the last couple weeks or days or something like that. And we, we talk about we, us, and our powers together. And, you know, we're stronger together than we are apart. But this is also... This is also a power word. I am. We're just going to sit there with Linda, take our time. It's nine o'clock here. You should stand in time. We're just going to take our time. I am. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? I am. These are power words. You know, these set the tone. You want to change, this is the way we start. Because what we say physically is what we start spiritually, right? We just went over that. I am. 
I am, you know, let's just start real simple. I am powerful. I am beautiful. When's the last time any of you women said that? I am powerful and strong. I am enough. How about that? And structure for those men out there. Also, the same thing. doesn't make a difference if you're men and women. It, it, the power is still there. So let's talk so let's let's talk about specifically about what they're saying here in, in, in the person. I am the sacred. I am what? The sacred what? I am the sacred light. When's the last time you said that you were sacred? When's the last time? Please put that in the feed here. Wayne, I, I've never said I'm sacred. Nobody ever says I'm sacred. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good answer, that's a fine answer. But today, it doesn't have to be the way it always was. You see, you see that shift, that movement, that transformation, that change happens when, when we not only read this, but we walk with this prayer. All prayers are meant to to build. We're building good relations. Yeah, I'm getting all like getting all passionate again. I'm like catching myself here. So, okay. I am the sacred light. When's the last time you ever said that? Say it right now. Tammy Jones, say it right now. I am the sacred light. Chanel, say it right now. Ginger, say it right now. Gina, say it right now. Oh, I am the sacred light. How do you feel right now? I am the light. No, I am the sacred light. I am the sacred light that shines above me. Okay, above me. So, so we understand that there's a light up there. The sun, we call it the day star, the new star. You know, it, it is the center of our morning prayers. And, you know, when we welcome that new day, the privilege of of a new day you know we celebrate the new day you know with that light just coming over the horizon i watch the sun come up today it's one of my favorite moments of the day you know i i i'm i i, I wasn't well in the last couple months and i took some time off uh really didn't get a chance to see the that morning light just kind of kind of come over there but now in the last couple of weeks I, I, I you know my sleep patterns are good and I, I'm you know, eating healthy again I, I'm getting lots of exercise and so you know getting back into your routine I'm taking medication now so so um so I get to see the sacred light come up you know and, and, and it's one of the most traditional teachings that we have you know we want to not only celebrate that life, honor that life, want that life, but we also want to be that light also. That's the power of the day start. That's the power of new beginnings. That's the power of the sunrise right there. It is one of the most powerful ceremonies that we have in indigenous culture is celebrating the new day. Very simple and, and you know, privilege again. We are privileged to to watch that. When's the last time you gave yourself the privilege of watching, watching the sunrise, you know, making offers of, you know, making offers of gratitude and, and you know, thank you. Offers of gratitude. Thank you for another day. Thank you. Thank you for shining your light on me. I will take that light in and I will give that light away hollow bone to see inter interlaced overlapping teachings here again. So let's pause for a second. Let's let's sit with this. Let's marinate this. Let's marinate with this. Let's understand how beautiful and how powerful this one's I am. You know, Melissa is out there. I am sacred, you know. I am sacred. Teresa O'Connor out there. When's the last time you said we need, you know, everybody has to be on the front line on this one right here. You, you know, step up, you know. It doesn't have to be the way it always was, you, you know. I am the light that shines above you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
you do count. You do. This will. This will make a difference, especially if we walk with it. You know, these prayers are meant to. To we're, we are meant to walk with these prayers. We are meant to honor these prayers. We are privileged again. Let's bring up that word again. I keep getting pained about privilege. I mean, all right, I don't know what to say about it, but yeah, here, here we go. Privilege to, to, to walk with these. Have you ever given yourself the right to walk with these prayers? Have you ever given yourself the right, the privilege to sit with these prayers? And let's just break it down. Have, have you said, let's just bring it, I am sacred. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's what it says here. I am the sacred light. No. Have you ever given yourself the right to just to sit with that? And, and you know, this goes down to the entire circle right here. Have you ever given you, I am the sacred light. Yeah. Like if this, we, if this is all we talked about today, that would be more than enough. But here, here we live in a place of spiritual abundance. This circle is spiritual abundance. This is a place of absolute love, a place of absolute safety. So, so, so let's honor that, walk with that, sit in it, bathe in that, marinate in that, respect that, love that, share this. You know, all these beautiful things that we can do today, right here, right now. We're doing it right here, right now. I am the sacred light. How about that? Shall we move on? <laughs> okay, we're talking about the third sentence in my third hour. So I guess that's the way this is looking right here. Um, I guess everybody should have packed a lunch today. So, <laughs> so, uh, so okay. March 1st, I am the sacred light that shines above you. So I am that. So I am a part of that. That's what they're saying here. That's what, that's what Spirit is trying to tell us. Hey, you are the sacred light. Basically, Spirit says, I need you to be the sacred light. That, that's like another way. Uh, I expect you, I want to be, uh, let's walk with, you know, sacred light. Let's do this together. There is some sort of, of you know, spiritual, um, I don't want to say agreement. It, 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 it's not agreement. It's, um, it just is, you know. We are that light. We're meant to be that light. And in this Western colonial world, there it is again, that, you know, they tell us that, that we aren't that light, that we need, you know, we need religion, you know, you know, we need to give our money away, we need to be in debt, we need to be, you know, in fear, we, you know, we need to listen to mass media, you know, all these things that really take away our light, we are giving back to ourselves right here, right now. Amazing, powerful. We are the light, which means we are beautiful, amazing creatures. You know, we have a beautiful, amazing voice. We have beautiful, amazing stories. We have beautiful, amazing power. And, you know, we we are giving ourselves back the things that the colonial world is busy trying to take away from us on a daily basis. You know? Okay, let's go to the let's go to the second sentence, right? <laughs> so I am the sacred water that flows through me. Oh my God! So let's. I am the sacred one. And you know what? Today's soda word of the day was water. So how about that for alignment right there? So I am the sacred water that flows through me. Yeah. You know, we all know that that saying that's out there, water is life. Okay, well, let's just see that. Yeah. 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 You know, that also works for life is you know sacred light is, is is you know life too you know so that works but let's keep on the second sentence here so we can kind of like get out of here i know like a reasonable hour we might be here till tuesday the way this is going right here so <laughs> um i am the sacred water that flows through me what does that mean to you again this sentence just sitting alone speaks volumes what does water have what do we, what do we, as indigenous, know water represents? The 
the water that we drink today is just the first time that water has ever been drunk by human or any other. No, right? No. The earth has been here for what, 4.6 billion years? So there's been a lot of life that, that has drunk the same water that we are drinking today. So every time that we drink the water, anytime anyone, whether, whether it's the trees, the animals, you know, the, it goes through the fish, the ocean, doesn't matter, salt or brackish water at all. Fresh salt water, brackish, you know, it's all, it, you know, it, it's all the water. You know, the old ones say um, that, and all the two legs too, have drunk this water too. So they say, this is gonna get really beautiful, really powerful, really quick, so buckle up, Let's buckle up right now. So, so, um, the, the prayers of everything that have used this water is still in the water that we drank today. How about that? How about that? So not only does it represent life, it represents everything, every prayer that has ever been put in that water. You know, we know this. We know memory has water. We know that we pray with the water, the water changes, right? So let's sit with that water today. I am the water that flows through me. So I am a part. So this is reaching back thousands of years, memories, life, the memories of life of thousands, thousands and millions of years ago. We are drinking that, that water, that life today. I am the life that has lived a thousand times today. I am the light that has lived a thousand times today. I'm drinking that water a thousand times today. Just, just sit with that. You know, whenever I drink water, I, and you know, across in my mind is how, how many elders and ancestors have drunk this water and said thank you to this water. You know? And now we get the opportunity to do this today, to relate to, to connect to. We are here connecting, connecting to the light and, and to the water. And when we connect, and, and not only right here, right now, but this dates back thousands and thousands of years ago. The water that flows through me. I am the sacred water that flows through me. So again, you know, so, so we're back to that beautiful place of being sacred again. What is the Great Spirit trying to tell us here? You know, there's a lot of themes, overlapping themes thing going on here, but the word sacred they use in, in every sentence here. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? And I love each and every one of you, and it is so beautiful, it's so powerful, man. I, I just can't get enough. And just imagine, like, man, I, 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 and you know, these teachings are are thousands of years old, thousands. And I've only walked with these really for about 30 years because you're really walking with So I know very, very little about what's going on here. Um, okay, let's, like I don't know where to go with the second sentence other than, then let's just say it one more time. I am the sacred water that, that, that flows through me. I am the sacred wind that, that, that flows around me. I, again, you know, this, this reading is so powerful, so beautiful. It talks about the outside, the light. That, that matches our inside. That spirit wants us to, 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 to mirror what is on the outside with what's going on with our inside, right? We want to mirror, walk with, understand, be a part of that, that we are saying the same thing with, with the water that's already in us. I am the sacred water that that flows through me. So, so they're basically telling you, telling us that that not all those prayers, all those ceremonies, all, all that sacred water, all that life that's in the water is also flowing through us. And now we're talking about the outside again. You know, so it, so it, it's really taking there and putting it in here, and taking it here and then putting it out there. So. So what we're talking about here, the beauty is 
the circle again, the circle. You know, one big, you know, one big circle that, that we are all related, we are all connected. So I am, yeah, I don't want to butcher this thing, so that would be bad. I am the sacred wind that blows around me, okay. So, you know, again, the same thing with the water. Our ancestors know, but, you know, our ancestors say, the elders say that every word, every prayer is still floating in the wind, right? It's out there. No, you know, it doesn't disappear. It doesn't. It doesn't like not go anywhere. And what, what is well is flowing. You know, flowing in the air. So and the same thing with the water. So every breath we take, we, we are breathing in the prayers of our pre, of the ancestors. You know, and again, sit with that a second. Sit with that a second. And and this is a place of. Um, this is a place of Wakape sitting in a sacred way, listening in, in a sacred way. Do we understand this? Can't we understand this? Do we want to sit in a sacred way so, so, so we can listen to all those prayers that we are breathing in? This is just getting more and more beautiful here, man. It's just like, yeah. If you only understood the power of every breath, this should, this should go a long way into helping you understand what is really going on here. What you're really a part of. The, the, the magnificence that is life, you know, the gift that is life, you know. Yeah. It tells us that, that, that the prayers of our ancestors are here, right here, right now. That they really haven't gone anywhere. You know, we don't need to go to some ancient temple to you know, try to listen to, you know, ancient, you know, uh, um, prayer grounds and try to listen to. I mean, I would still suggest do that to, to you know, honor that land, you know. Be part of that. I'm not suggesting that that we we not do that. What I'm suggesting is that that that, that we understand the water and the air that that we are breathing right here was part of, of their their ceremonies back then. Yeah. With the spiritual and economical. And you know how how we open up that door is, is you know we just sit with it you know doesn't you know this doesn't say you know you know this reading doesn't say you have to be perfect to you know understand this doesn't say you know doesn't say you have to have you know eighteen thousand dollars in your bank account to, to understand this doesn't say that doesn't say that it simply says I am. Going back to the first statement, the first two sentences, you know, that is a ceremony right there, understanding I am. You know, and then following that up with what we already are, the powerful, and so connecting to what we already are, to what we realize we are. You know, and getting away from that colonial narrative that keeps on wanting to take our power away from us, you know, you know. I am the sacred. I am the sacred wind. I am the sacred water. I am the sacred light. Okay, so here we let's so we're breathing in the prayers. So let's just kinda of, kinda of end with that. Okay, let's go on to 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 the to the next sense. I am the sacred fire that burns within me. Okay. The sacred fire. You know. You know, these are all beautiful elements right here. You know what we're talking about. So, so, what do you have to say about the sacred fire burning within you? I, I want to hear you comment on this. I am the sacred fire. What does that say to you? Now it's going about sacred fire. There's a fire, you know, 
one of the beautiful teachings that I, I, I that I talk about and I talk about this you know in every lecture and seminar that I've done it is you know we are part of that sacred fire the very first fire at the center of the universe the, fir the first fire that started this whole universe billions and you know you know, 16.8 billion years ago or something, the science has got that all wrong, but it's just kind of like, let's just use that as a reference number, you know. That fire, part of that fire, you know, the heartbeat, the heartbeat, that, 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 that very first flame, the very first flicker of, of, of light, we, we are part of that. Time doesn't matter here. So, so in that place, in that time, in that moment, of our birth, the fire at the center of the universe came down, came down from the center of the universe, right to here, right in our mama's belly. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I uh, it's like at six weeks or nine weeks or something that that you know the fetus starts to. Well, that's the moment that 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 creator, Kitchy Manitou, the one that started it all, said, "Here is, here is life." We, we will take a part of that sacred flame and we will give it to you. What are you doing with your sacred flame right now? Are you adding to it? Are you marginalizing? Are you aligning your heart, your flame, your light, your water with the colonial? Or are you walking Taking that, taking that life, taking that flame, and aligning it with the spiritual. An opportunity to be courageous right here. I will walk with courage no matter what. I will walk with love no matter what. I will walk with the ancestors that are flowing through my body right now. Folks, we're just going to run over on, on, on this one, and I don't quite know what that means. <laughs> we're just going to run over, so, you know, there's, there's so much beauty to cover here. I don't want to short it, so let's just, you know, let's just kind of settle in here and buckle up and just, like, see what, see where Creator takes us in this beautiful, beautiful ceremony, this beautiful, beautiful morning. You know, what, 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 are, what are you doing with that sacred flame, that sacred light, that sacred water, that sacred wind? that has been offered to you this morning. What are you doing with that? You know, and you know, what can we do and what will we do? That's the journey right there. That's, that's the journey right there. If you knew how beautiful you were and how powerful you were, If you want to make this world a better place, a lot of us come from, you know, a lot of us are, are marginalized people in, in this circle right here, you know, come from, you know, you know, you know, Black Lives Matter, you know, Indigenous Lives Matter, you know, if we were all equal, we, we wouldn't need to have those things, by the way, well, you know, just so you know, you know, if you treated us as equal, we wouldn't need to go there. But while we're there, while we're here, let's change that narrative. Let's change the title of this chapter. Let's change the title of, of your book right here. Does it have to be the way it always was? Or am I going to walk with spirit? The gift of the spirit is offering this to us today. A celebration of life. If you want to know how to celebrate life, this is the way to do it right here. They are, they are painting a road map towards a better life right here. They are giving us a roadmap. Hey, let's start someplace. Let's start with that light at the center of the universe and you are sacred. You are all sacred. Because it says this here, it says I am. So that basically says when you read this, they're talking directly to you. Directly to you.
do you have the courage to say that? Do you have the courage to say that I am sacred? Every single one of you should, should be typing, absolutely yes, Wayne, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. I should have a million yeses on there right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is life changing, life altering. I don't know how many other ways to say this, you know. I don't know how many other ways to say it, but I'll keep going, man. If I'm going to keep going, I'll keep going here, you know. Because these are some of the teachings that, that have enabled me to change my life. It doesn't have to be the way it always was. It doesn't have to be, I don't have to live in that place of trauma and abuse anymore. And I don't have to bleed all over the people around me because I don't want to do the healing myself. But I want them to do uh, the healing for me. I'm not bleeding on anyone today, you know. Beautiful. Ginger, you're beautiful. Tattoo, you're beautiful. And yes, you're beautiful. Andy, yes, I love you. Yes, beautiful. Andrew, yes. Every single one of us should be saying absolutely yes. Yes. Absol every single one of us, you know, me included. If uh, I could get on the, the feed right now, I would say yes, but I'm already on the feed, so I'll just say yes right now. So, <clears throat> so. Okay, let's let's go to the last sentence here. You know, it's not quite my third hour, but we're <laughs> I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. Okay. Where do I begin here? You know, where do I begin here? You know, you know, let's begin at the beginning where where, where Grandfather Tony taught me what Mother Earth is. Um, Mother Earth is both mother and grandmother. Okay, what does that mean? Mother Earth is the sacred feminine. Yes, we need the sacred feminine. So basically, spirits here are saying we need the sacred feminine in our life right here, right now. We need to be uh, enveloped, encompassed into part of, part of, surround, you know, um, you know. I don't know how many other adjectives I, I can add here. I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. I am the sacred feminine that encompasses me. So, you know, on a bigger, on a bigger scale, on a bigger plane, you know, it basically tells us that, that, that you know, that we, we need to invite the sacred feminine into our lives again. So that there's a course correction here, right? That, that there's a, a very human course correction, basically saying that, you know, basically saying, hey, hey, look, enough of the patriarchy, man. Enough of that BS patriarchal, you know, the system that is the white privilege and that guy that guided, you know, the white ancestors, the white, <laughs> and, you know, way back before, our, you know, Lincoln and, you know, the, the U.S. and all this, this patriarchal system has poisoned humanity. So basically, what are, what is the course correction here? What a cor course correction here, really simple, really basic. I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. So they're basically telling us that, 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 you know, that the sacred feminine is, is already here, right? We don't have to go anywhere, right? At the sacred feminine. We just have to understand that we are part of the sacred feminine. So we don't need to call some, you know, other sacred deity to come in. We don't need to wait for, you know, the sacred feminine to, to kind of save us like, you know, like then you like other religions say, you know, we need to be saved, you know, kind of thing, you know. You know, the spirit's telling us here, that's already here, and the only thing that we have to do is recognize, honor, and walk with it. <sighs> say that 10 times fast, okay. So the sacred feminine is already here. You know, the proverbial church is already here, you know, you know, you know, and, and, you know, this goes back to what I've been talking about the last couple of days, you know, go out, this is not Black Friday, it's Cyber Friday, any of that, go outside, make a Green Friday, go out and relate to, relate to, walk with, put it in your hands, you know. Every ceremony, every lodge ceremony that I do, I pick up some 
some, some earth right yeah. just picture some earth right here right I picture some earth the sacred mother part of the sacred mother part of our ancestors Part of every sacred fire, part part of every tree, part of every two leg wing fish people in this little bit of, of sand here, right of dirt here. The colonial world calls it dirty and says, "Wash it off, man. Wash it. You know, you're dirty. Wash it off. You know." I, I'm gonna say, "Wash it off." I say, "Rub it in." You know, absolutely rub it in. So take that. You know, and yeah, you know, this is literally, you know. And, and, you know, if, if you ever sat with me, you'll notice I do that every time. I say, oh, this is really beautiful, you know. You know really and I'm not doing it to exfoliate, so I'm... I know there's someone out there, oh, that's good exfoliation. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, yeah. The idea of the ceremony is not look prettier before, after I come out. <laughs> before I go out, no, that's not, not, not quite what we're looking at here. We're looking at, like, connection here. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys, you know. Don't wash it off, rub it in. Don't rub it off, rub it in. You know, take that. Take that, yeah. Take that. Be part of, you know, part one. I really want to tell a story here, but we're really running over. So, so should I tell you a story? I don't know, should I? I just got some hearts. Okay. Not seeing anything about telling a story, so so we're just gonna. Oh, I got some more hearts. Oh, huh, okay. Oh, Miranda, I love you, Miranda. Okay, let's do it. So, so a couple years ago, I'm in I'm in Ecuador. Um, beautiful, beautiful man. I have so many beautiful stories about Ecuador, man. It's just really, yeah. I mean, it's not some backwater country. It's really, it's really, really beautiful. You know, it's just in. <coughs> So, so we're on the inside rim, the, the, the ceremonial area is on the inside rim of a volcano and, and it's got volcanic clay there, right? It's really, it look like it really feels like silk, right? Like beautiful, like I could smell it, man. It just smells so rich and the soil was so rich and so beautiful and so it just felt like, I felt like a little bit of heaven, you know? And, and the lodge site itself was you know, was on a little bit of a, like a little bit of this, you know, wasn't quite, you know, flat right there. So, uh, so what was kind of funny is, um, <laughs> you know, what's kind of funny is, like everybody on, on, on this side, but the, the lodge was on this side, <laughs> yeah, the lodge on this side was completely, because everybody's kind of sliding over, you know, but that's okay, you know, but um, that's not what I'm going to talk about. It kind of went like that again, but so, so anyway, um, so basically, I just did my spiel about, you know, don't rub it off, rub it in right there. And, and about how, how every piece of soil, every piece of dirt, every piece, it's not dirty, it's, it's, not, it's not dirt, it's medicine, right? All life comes from this, right? All life. So why don't we want to be a part of that? Why are we sitting here so quickly to rub it off because of, of what, what, you know, the colonial world tells us, oh, don't, you know, they basically tell us, don't be a part of, don't be a part of that medicine, because that medicine's dirty, you know. That medicine's dirty, yeah, you know. You know, don't take, don't be a part of that medicine, you know. As indigenous, we know we are part of Mother Earth, just like in this reading here, we are part of Mother Earth. How do we become a part of? So basically. Uh, there's a bunch of people in there from all over the world, and I just did my spiel, and, and, and actually did there's this guy, this guy Hugo. Uh, he was uh, a shaman from um, um, the Amazon, right? He, he, he like drove 10 hours to get there. He was super late. He was supposed to be there in that morning. He got there in an afternoon. And you know we we we're getting ready to uh, to light the fire, and he's you know you know walking on like the upper rim of of, of the volcano, looks down, sees me, said he had a vision of me like three years ago, and said I have to sit with you for something, and then, so he canceled his ceremony to to sit in mine. I'm like, um, okay, great, yeah, great. Yeah, well, would we'll you sit in in the honor seat, which is uh, opposite the door? So so when the spirits come in, you know. 
you know, they're the first place that I see it. It's considered, widely considered the hottest seat in the house because, you know, when the spirits come in, you know, they're, they're looking right at you when they come in that, that door. So I'm, I'm explaining all of this, you know, you know the fire's going, you know, we're, you know, we're about to bring in the stones, um, the stones, and I, I'm explaining, don't rub it off, rub them in, blah, 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 medicine. And, and so, uh, so, and, and <laughs> I love telling this story because this is a story about being all in, you know. Really, this is probably where this story really hails from, you know. All in, you know. I love to see people be a part of ceremonies that the people are all in. You know, we live in a world so full of distractions, you know. It's hard for many of us not to be distracted when we're somewhere, when we're somewhere else, right? You know, but living, but you know, Wonka Pick, uh, sitting in a sacred way, is being all there, all in, all the time, right there, and, and it's really like one of the lost ceremonies. I don't know how to be here, sitting right here, because my mind is yesterday, my mind is tomorrow, and I don't know how to be here, right here, right now. You know, Wonka Pick, you know, sitting, sitting in a sacred way. That's a soda word, by the way, Wonka Pick. You know. Soto Lakota, and there's a story behind that. I'll I'll get into that another day. So, um, so being right here, right now, being all in, is a lost ceremony. So, so I think I'm looking at Hugo. You know, we close. You know, we bring the rocks in. It was a beautiful. It was a beautiful. Uh, you know, first ceremony. Uh, first round. I can open up the door. It's night, right? So, so the only light coming in. Is light from the fire. So, uh, so, so, so I open up uh, uh, the door after the first round, and you know, Hugo's gone. I'm like, Hugo was, was right there, right? Hugo was right there, and I'm sitting there thinking, like, so I like, uh, you know, so so when there's things that we do. Um, when we sit in the honor seat is we check in with everybody, make sure everybody's okay. That's the first rule of, you know, sweat lines, you know, the protection, physical and the spiritual protection of the people. So I go around, I check in with everybody. When it goes, Hugo, I'm like, Hugo, if you're there, I don't know if you crossed over or come back from the spirit world. And then I saw his, his like eyes open and, and his smile right there. The only thing I could see of Hugo was his eyes and, and, and his beautiful pearly whites right there. And, you know, he, he doesn't speak any English. He speaks like two words of, you know, like hi and like thank you or something like that. So, you know, he, so I see him smile. He is head to toe, caked in and covered with volcanic clay. It was the most beautiful, awesomest thing I've ever seen. And I tell this story a lot. I tell this, like, if you want to be all in, you know, be like Hugo, man, we should, like, have, like, T-shirts, like, be like Hugo, be all in like Hugo. That would be, like, the world's, like, best-selling T-shirt, man. Be all in, you know, like Hugo, you know. Be all in like Hugo. He was head to toe, and I'm looking at him like, you know, you know you know, looking at his pearly white, just just watching him, you know, speaking Spanish and everything, and, and and his girl was right there too, his his wife one was right there, and she was all in too, you know, and, and I'm like looking at those two, I'm like, this is like it's one of those few. She goes, you could just run the rest of the ceremony, man. I just want to follow you, man. This is like this is like awesome, right? This is awesome. I still think about that, man. This is a story I still think. There's a billion stories out there that I have. But this is a story about being all in. Being all in with what? Mother Earth, the sacred feminine, the fire, the ceremony. Being all in with Mother Earth. This encompass this encompasses everything, man. This is complicated. I challenge you to do that today. I challenge you and you to cover yourself in volcanic clay. That's what I'm suggesting. But all I'm suggesting today is with this reading, I am sacred. What does Okay, this is your assignment. Ready? Okay, everybody get your pen. Ready? This is your assignment today. This is our assignment today. I am sacred. What does that mean to you today? And how can you be all in with that today? What does that look like? What does that look like? You know? What does that look like? 
So you know, how can you be all that today? And we are running really over here, so uh, so so I don't know where the time goes, man. I get all like passionate about this stuff. So so let's just think about that for a second, marinating, you know. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be big, evolved, you know, big ritual and that. You know, I'm not suggesting that. If you want to make it that, you know, like, like, like that's okay. But root spirit really speaks in terms of simplicity. You know. Yeah. It doesn't have to be big, elaborate, you know. What would this look like? And, and you know, let's get creative. Let, let, let's be, let's be like the spider. Let's get creative with this. What, what does that look like? You know, what does this medicine look like for you? How can you be all passion, all passion about life all the time? That's what they're saying here. You know, spirit, the great spirit wants you to be all in, all connected, all the time. What does that look like? What does that look like to you? What medicine? And, you know, you know, don't keep this medicine for yourself. I want you to get on here somewhere and share this medicine. We are the medicine. We can't do this without you. You are an integral part of this circle, intricate part of this earth. And basically, spirits here telling you, we want you to be all in. We want you to share your medicine. Sharing your medicine is being all in. I'll say that 10 times. I think for the first time I'm actually running out of coffee, you know. That's being all in. When we run out of coffee, man. That's all it. <laughs> so okay, so let's kind of read this kind of one let's kind of read this again. To just, you know, kind of wrap it up here. Mark first. I am a sacred light that shines above me. Powerful. I am the sacred water that flows through me in. I am the sacred wind that blows around me, around. I, I am the sacred fire that burns within me. Again, you know, we're back to that place within. I am the sacred earth that encompasses me. All right. I love you. I really do. This is really just really one of those beautiful, beautiful, passionate moments when you get passionate, man, and you know, it really speaks to life and connection man i wish you could feel some some of the, the passion and life that i'm feeling right now um i love you one of those things that um that we as you know uh, people of medicine we you know we all carry medicine we, you know we don't have to label ourselves medicine men or medicine women we all carry medicine you know hopefully today and then that medicine shifts into a really good healthy direction you know Sometimes you're carrying, you know, and what may be on some anger or resentment medicine. You know, we all carry something. You know, let's shift that. It doesn't have to be the way it always was. Let's carry some of that good medicine that that, that spirit is offering us now, being a part of sacred medicine. We are, we are all sacred. We are all beautiful. We are all beautiful. We all have beautiful stories. We all have beautiful stories. And you know, let's be a part of, you know, let's be a part of spearheading, being that transfer transformative change here you know and part of that is not sharing what i did here is part of sharing what we did here you have shared so much beautiful medicine i can't i can't wait to go back and you know you know, read all this comment and see how powerful you are you know so, so, so let's share this powerful message with every group every you know, you know, a uh, group that's on your heart, uh, like institution or individual, and say, hey, this is this is what we've done together. So don't say, this is what I've done here. I am just, I'm just a moment. I am just the middleman here, the great spirit. I am in the service of the great spirit, and I'm in the service of, of this circle too. So, so let's, let's go out and really share this medicine in a really good way. Okay, we're just going to have one announcement. You know, it's been the same that announcement all week. It's a women's healing circle auction for action. Three ways we can get uh, involved in that is we can put an item up for, for auction. It's a silent auction, and there's a web page you can bid. Uh, the second way is you can bid on on, uh, on the item, and the third way is you can simply um, give a cash cash donation. So please, so please go there, honor that. The recipient is... Denise Miller, 
so, uh, so she's on in, in the time slot uh, uh, before me. She's on from the 8 to uh, to 8.30 slot, which is 6 to 6.30 slot for her and out of Tucson. Um, yeah, we did that so we don't overlap, so you don't have to choose between him, uh, her, and, and, and me. So, you know, kind of working together in, in, in this thing. But please, um, it, it helps to support the mate. Uh, Denise Miller, a beautiful, powerful Métis elder. She offers so much to so many to offer. Let, let's let's support her and, and what she and the work that she is doing. This is part of the way that we do that. So so thank you, Denise Miller. I love you. Um, and uh, that's it. So let's 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 close up uh, the closing prayer here. <coughs> Oh, great spirit, and this is uh, this is Yellow uh, Lark uh, Lakota. I think I forgot to say that yesterday. So uh, this is not my prayer. This is from Yellow Lark. I think we we can put that in the feed today. So if we get a volunteer to do that, please. And thank you. Oh, great spirit, whose voice I hear in the winds, whose breath gives life to all the world. Hear me. I am small and weak. I need your strength and wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunsets. Make my hands respect the things that you have made. And my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise so that I may understand the things you have taught my people. Let me learn the lessons you have hidden under every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be superior to my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Make me always ready to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes. So when the life fades as a fading sunset, my spirit will come to you without shame. Yellow Lark, Lakota. Thank you for your love and your patience. Uh, let us close in, in the usual way. The, the standing nation will, they always lead us out. So, uh, so thank you. Okay, again, thank you everybody. Thank you for, for, for your patience. It, it's been a, been a beautiful way, that beautiful circle of ceremony, a uh, beautiful way to, to, uh, to start to, to this, the, this beautiful day. You have helped me out immensely here. Um, it, it's a beautiful day and always the final word is, the old ones always say this ceremony may end, but the ceremony within you does not end. So let's take what we lived here and learned here and loved here. And, and, and let's take it out to all those other circles out there. Okay, one. I love you, and let's have a great day. Bye.